So the clinic assistants, they are here to help us with obviously with the contact tracing and being available to parents and students when the nurses are working with another student or answering the many, many phone calls that have been, you know, coming in. We see at least 40 kids each day for just accidents. Um, that's not including our daily medication kids or the kids that come in for an emergency, like an inhaler. Um, and then on top of the COVID phone calls that we're just trying to weed out and give dates to come back to school, um, we might spend the whole day talking to at least 20 or 30 parents on top of the 40 other kids that we see. Now especially it is um, extremely busy. Um, so much so that even with two people in here it takes we're staying after and, and things like that. We are in unprecedented times here um, and to have an extension of our hands and our hearts to care for the school community um, it has been great for us. My name is Christina Ha. I'm a clinic assistant at Hardy Elementary School. Um, I just started November of last year. Prior to that, I've been a preschool teacher and I've done auto claims as well. I'm Jessica Duck and I'm the clinic assistant at Windsor High School. This is actually my very first job ever. I have four kids. I've stayed at home with my kids for 10 years. So this has definitely been a learning experience for me and I've learned so much from Shay and everyone here at Windsor High School. Uh, my name is Stephanie Williams. I am the clinic assistant here at Smithville High School. Um, before this, I was just taking care of my two kids. I have a five-year-old and a one-year-old. Um, I saw the opportunity that schools needed help and I decided to give it a try. My name is Jackie True. I am the clinic assistant at Carrollton Elementary. Um, before taking this position in October, I was the administrative associate in the main office, uh, working under Mr. Brennan and Mrs. White. And um, when this position came open, I kind of had a little bit of a special um, interest in it because my granddaughter had COVID and was not doing very well. And so I really got interested in the position and I wanted to make a change. And so this opportunity came up and Mr. Brennan supported me and um, I'm very glad that I did. My clinic assistant is Angela Griffin and she is a certified nurse assistant who is actually has an extra certificate to give medication. So I'm really lucky with that because then she can take on a little bit more of that role. I'm very thankful for my assistant, Miss Jackson. She has been a godsend. She answers phones. I've um, taught her a little bit about first aid and so she's able to help with that. She has not been afraid to do anything that I've needed her to do or asked her to do. She has willingly been able to watch me give medicines and been willing to give medicines if she needs to. She's willing to jump in and do first aid, minor first aid for the kids if I'm busy with another student or at my desk. She can triage any student that comes down. Um, there are so many things that my clinic assistant helps me with. It just flows. Instead of getting a backup of six to ten kids in here, it just keeps flowing with the phone and the meds. and. And one day, honestly, I didn't even realize she gave all the meds to all the daily kids because I was so busy on the phone with COVID. This past week, with all that we have had going on, with all of the quarantining and all of the cases, I could not have done it without her. I think I would have pulled my hair out. <laughs> I think it, it's a huge help. I know uh, Tracy has shared with me many times that she's grateful that I'm there. Um, because if she's working with one student or a parent, I can assist someone else and kind of keep the flow going. And um, I, I do think it's been a big help. Me and a stay-at-home mom has definitely helped me and I can relate to the kids and a lot of their problems. And being able to talk with them and help them through different life things that they're going through has been very rewarding for me. I really like um, specifically working here because I get to work with the little kids um, and it's, it's easy for me to get down there and help them out and even if it's like the littlest things they're really grateful for it and they always have little smiles on their faces so. I enjoy getting to know the students. Uh, being in the main office as administrative associate I didn't get a lot of interaction with them and this way I am meeting the students, uh, having more interaction with the parents as well. So I'm enjoying that part of it. With a school as big as Smithville High School, it, is, it was really needed. And um, I think we do a really good job as a team. And yeah, that's 
So I just want to tell our clinic assistants, thank you for stepping up every day. Um, I know that the many different walks of life that you've come from, um, some of you are waitresses, some of you are stay-at-home moms, some of you have clinical backgrounds, some of you don't, but we are so incredibly thankful that every day you get to come and choose us and to be an extension of us and our services to the school health programs. Thank you for coming every day. You are seen, you are heard. Um, even when we get fussed at on the phone, just keep going because we enjoy it and we love you here and the kids love you. They are asking about you every day when you're not here, so you are making a difference. To all of our clinic assistants who have come on this year, as a nurse, I feel so benefited by my clinic assistant. I know that all the other nurses in the county feel benefited by their clinic assistants. Please know that you have come at a crucial time in the life of the public school system. And we thank you for being here. It has been such a blessing to us.